In today's Shankar Samadhan, I am taking up a question from uh, Kartik Shukla. And he says that, Sir, in some illustrations I referred, I found that the dielectric which is varying with the distance from one of the plates of the capacitor is made by integration of the differential element and in almost all solutions they use by integration 1 divided by dc but in mathematics it means nothing so is the solution they provide are wrong or is it having some physical significance so let me explain the question uh, it's a capacitor uh, with a dielectric but the dielectric constant varies uh, with the distance from the plate. So let us say we have uh, this plate here and one plate here, two capacitor plates and in this you have this dielectric and the dielectric constant depends on this distance x. So here in this layer the dielectric constant will be k which is a function of x. So as x changes, this dielectric constant changes. And then you have to find the capacitance of this whole thing. Area is A and then the total distance can maybe given something something. This total distance is D and so on. So the, the physics of solution is that if you divide this in small small parts, Suppose this is at x you take a distance dx here, you take a distance dx here and say that this makes a capacitor, this makes a capacitor with this small separation here, small separation between these two assumed plates and then uh, you know that such capacitors are all lined up in parallel and therefore it will be 1 by C equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 type and if it is continuous you have to integrate. So what you have to get is 1 by C, 1 by C of this and then integrate that 1 by C to get the total 1 by C. So this 1 by C of the element, small element, we will call it d of 1 by c. So, here is the problem uh, Karthik is uh, saying. Uh, he says that in most of the solutions they write it this way. This is of course, it does not make any sense in the, in the mathematics, but this is, it makes sense because it is 1 by c of this and that is 1 by c of this and 1 by c of this and 1 by c of this and 1 by all are to be added. So, we take a small element, get its 1 by c and then uh, integrate, add all those 1 by c's to get the total thing. So, this will be, this will be 1 by c. So, c is epsilon naught k a by, by d here and therefore, 1 by c will be d by epsilon naught k a here for the small element for that this uh, differential 1 by c will be the separation is dx so you write dx here then epsilon here and k is a function of x and then uh, the area and then you can integrate now to get the total 1 by c whatever dx going from 0 to d and so on. So yes one has to be mathematically correct because mathematics is the language of physics if we do not do our mathematics uh, with uh, uh, meaningful, in a meaningful way, then our physics uh, expressions will be difficult to understand. Okay.